I had this brilliant idea where I should make a tier list of all the controversies that happened that year. And I will rate it on how much it affected me and how much it changed my life and how much bested I was into this stupid drama. I mean, very serious drama of celebrities. Let me explain these categories because that's very important. Simulation, that's the top tier, right? That means that it was so crazy that it made me question my own reality. The next one is no way that actually happened, right? Question mark. So that tears, like I couldn't believe it. It's not like I'm questioning my own existence. It's just under, oh my God, the world's gonna end, you know? Perfect distraction. This tear is, it was good to just invest my time in this instead of dealing with my own problems. A conversation. So this one is just a conversation you had maybe once or twice with your friend just to let them know that it happened and then you never talk about it again. It's a good tear, good list. And then the last one, which is, I I forgot this even happened. So that's like, wasn't even worth speaking about that it was so dumb that it went viral. Anyway, that's the tears. Those are all the things. Are we excited? Maybe. Yes, we are. Let's just start. Number one is when Adam Levine, he was caught cheating on his wife with gross texts to a random Instagram model. I remember this happening. And how much did I care? Not that much. I think it was like a conversation I had. I'm not like, oh my God, there's no way that could have happened. He's got money. He's good looking. He's a dick apparently. Like we live and we learn, right? I just didn't care. The next one is Young Gravy was dating Addison Ray's mom. I didn't know this actually happened and I didn't care. I want drama. I want the hard stuff. Like I knew more about Mr. Adam's infidelity than whatever the fuck this couple did. We all want a toy boy and she managed to get one or we all want a hot babe and he managed to get one. I don't know. They can date as much as they want. Next, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's court case. I need to be very honest with you guys. Did I watch this? Not really. Did I find it fascinating? Yes. But I just did not understand why they were streaming this. Like, who streams a court case? I'm cool. Now we all hate Amber Heard or we all hate Johnny Depp. I don't care. You can hate whoever you want. I just thought it had nothing to do with us. But it was mind-blowing to me. Not what they were doing to each other, but that it was streamed for our entertainment. That's weird. So that's why this one goes into my simulation. Just my opinion. No one cares about my opinion. Andrew Tate. If you don't know about Andrew Tate, he's next influencer for pieces of shit. He's creating young pieces of shit. He was shocking. Like, I could not believe that man has so much power. Like, what? Kendall Jenner's cutting of the cucumber. This was an iconic moment in history. I think this was a perfect distraction. It was beautiful. I just assume I never cut a cucumber in her life. Fair enough. Not all of us cut cucumbers. I don't know. Do I forgive her for cutting a cucumber like that? Yes. No. I don't know. Dreams face reveal, guys. This was a simulation moment. This was crazy. I just woke up one day. I didn't even know this was happening. Boom, he goes viral. It's not a simulation because he finally revealed his face. I've never watched dream streams in my life, okay? It was more the after effect and how everyone was either making fun of him or sexualizing his face. I don't know what they were doing, but they were talking about this man for like three, four days. But just the way that everyone started fucking hating him was just crazy. Ellen's last season happened this year. I think this was a perfect distraction. Yeah, like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Dude, someday she's gonna have to retire, right? Well, most people hate her now. So, perfect timing to close it all. The reason she was a perfect distraction for me is because when I heard she was retiring, I went back to her Ellen the Generous channel and started binge watching videos of what I used to to watch when I was younger, like all those things that influenced us, like those girls singing the Nicki Minaj song, all her last stuff and her crying. Like I have this thing where I like watching people cry, not like that. It makes me cry to see someone cry happy. This. I got emotional watching that shit and it felt good. It felt good to cry about Ellen's career. I don't know. I'm toxic. What can I say? Move on. This one's insane in the membrane. Elon Musk buying Twitter. But it's not even that crazy. It's not a simulation crazy. Who's shocked actually? Who's shocked? He's got a bunch of money. He's a weird guy. If I could afford Twitter, I would buy it too. Probably not. But I do respect his decision. It's more shocking his rules he's making, how he's changing it. But it is fun to observe it. It's entertaining, but it's not surprising, you know? Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller being a fucking psychopath. I think this goes here. I remember 
remember watching Perks of Being a Warflower and this man was chilled and all of a sudden he's crazy. You're a pretty man, you don't have to do this. And I got two of them for some reason, so we're gonna put them both here. I like I just don't know enough about any of this shit, but it's fine. Harry Styles spitting on Chris Pine. This is a perfect distraction. This is the best distraction. It's like, whoa, what? I don't think it was even real. After that, I just saw Don't Worry Darling trending on like Twitter and everything. So it made me invested and I started doing lots of research on what the fuck's going on. And this is the one thing that happened. So it's just part of the perfect distraction. The movie was a distraction. Harry Styles is a distraction because he's a beautiful man. Chris Pine's a beautiful man and they're spitting on each other is for some reason entertaining to us young millennials. What can you do? spit back they should have just had a spitting competition i don't know but it was fun jlo dating ben affleck didn't they have a couple's name i don't know exactly what it is but i can make them one j ben low ben affleck jen affleck low i think i'm messing this all up i don't care i don't care about your relationship i'm sorry you no know, we always go back to our exes when we lonely we just find you have a single and go for it it's human nature i'm happy for them i think wasn't he like a dick but maybe she's a dick like they can just be dicks together like kind Kanye West being a Nazi pretty much. I think I'm gonna put it right here. Maybe here. Every time he speaks, he says something crazy, but he's taking it to the next level. And he's running for president. There's no way this is real. And he may be an alien. Kim dating Pete Davidson. I think it was a good distraction as well. All those memes about him getting all the hot babes. Just be a funny man in life and you'll have more friends and you'll have all the hot babies. But it was a cool moment in time. Kim stretching Marilyn Monroe's dress. Conversation. I'm sorry. For me, I think people just tried to make it bigger than it is and she probably didn't stretch it. I don't know. People care too much and that's why the conversation. Lana Rhodes having a baby. I'm gonna put this in no way this actually happened. It's not because she had a baby. I don't care. She can have as many babies as she wants. Good for her. It's because how people reacted to it. It's just sad, like leave her alone, dude. More embarrassing that you're watching her naked than her having a baby who's a loser now. Leonardo breaking up with his girlfriend who was way younger than him. He hasn't dated someone older than 25 yet. There's nothing other than a great distraction from my very miserable life. Queen's death, the tragedy, a conversation. She's old, I'm happy she's resting in peace. She's probably happier there, dude. Everyone like either hated her or loved her. Like I wouldn't be able to take it cool. Like I don't have any opinions on this woman. I have a theory she was probably dead like six years ago, but Rihanna having a baby. This one goes right up here, dude. Not many things changed my life, but this changed my life. The two hottest people, ASAP Rocky and Rihanna having a child together is insane. It couldn't get more perfect. This year for me was Riri, me and ASAP having a child together. It felt like that. That child is going to be the sexiest thing you've ever seen. We are lucky people to be in this world where we witness Rihanna and ASAP Rocky having a child. Messi and Ronaldo retire retirement this one goes here only because it's weird they're retiring the same year maybe it's up here messi's never won a world cup and he wins his last one something sketchy about it. like something's off that is too perfect oh let's retire at the same time oh one of you has to win oh we have to make it a little bit believable so let's get ronaldo out earlier i don't know how they decided but it could be set up kings full six fingers a conversation i don't really know about this actually i'm putting it down here i kind of saw six fingers I I just relate so i choose to forget i'm sorry about your sausage fingers we live we carry on me you and trump have the same hands so i don't know what else to tell you shakira nearly going to prison for tax fraud conversation if she actually went to prison which i think she didn't then it's freaking up here right but i think it's just like drama they looked for but didn't actually happen as long as she's not in prison it's a conversation you can have probably all these people are doing tax fraud let's be honest ai art taking over art i've been using this for a while now and i just find it fascinating and crazy that the internet's this smart but i guess it makes sense so it's a perfect distraction but like it's gonna change our lives will smith slapping chris rock up here dude up here because what the fuck that was insane like imagine watching that live like no one expected it do i agree with him slapping him no am i happy he slapped him yes if you're struggling with your wife um don't slap someone those memes were the funniest time of my life it's like a weird moment moment in time it's too weird to be true right Taylor Swift breaking a record and having every single one of her songs on the Billboard top 10. I just think that's a really cool conversation. It's crazy and it's cool. I support my female leads. Anyone did it I think I'll be proud of them like a proud mom. 
Try Guys drama with Ned being the guy who talks about his wife and they cheated on his wife. But that was crazy. Maybe it was a red flag that he talked about his wife so much, trying to convince himself that he's so happy with his wife. The boy who went up on the Game Awards when he shouldn't have, and he just snuck up there, and he went to jail. I just thought it was a little bit weird and shocking, I guess. It's not like I learned about it from the news. I actually saw it happen before the drama and the news and everyone caught up to me. So it makes it more special. Wordle just exploding. I was in a Wordle girl. I tried. I don't know. I'm just not good at it, I guess. I don't really care about Wordle. Cool that it blew up, actually. So let's make it a perfect distraction, but not for me. You know, I'm gonna be controversial. Wordle is mid for me personally the last is heidi's costume where she dressed up as a worm or some halloween thing a conversation she apparently does this every year so who cares she's crazy and it's actually kind of iconic i wish i could dress up as a worm for my halloween parties but i can't i think it's iconic i would do it myself if i could especially if i was a supermodel like it's so cool so this is my list <laughs> i think this is perfect you know the problem is i actually don't know anything about drama and like i don't really read the news it's cool that someone who has no fucking clue what's going on in this world who's naive as shit is doing this thanks for watching stay safe tell your family you love them don't eat cake because cake sucks actually do eat cake pull a lot of crackers get some hot pictures and men give what you get and merry fucking christmas for all the ho ho ho's